Let's go to Romans. Let's go to Romans 8.15. And in Romans 8.15, it says, For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by which, by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Uh, the Message Bible said this resurrection life you receive from God is not a timid, grave tending life. It is adventurously expectant, greeting God with a childlike, what's next, Papa? What's next, Papa? It is waking up every morning. Are we there yet? It is waking up every morning like a child. What's for breakfast? It is waking up every morning like, you, you got my outfit out yet? What, what am I wearing today? It's like being in Disney World for a five-day pass and had so much fun you went to sleep. But when you woke up in the next morning, your mom and dad say, get up. We got a long day ahead of us. We're going to make sure we get this ride and this ride and this ride and this ride. Ooh, I wish we had more folk in the church that would wake up every morning and say, Papa, what ride are we going to get on? Who are we going to save today? Who are we going to heal today? Who are you going to let me speak to today that I can deliver them from, from the, the mindset that I have? But if we wake up and we're only about us, that's because we haven't escaped the lust of the world. I pray that we wake up tomorrow morning and we go, okay, Papa, where we, where we going? Where you going to lead me? And that we wake up and go, Papa, anoint me afresh for the assignment that you're going to give me because wherever I'm going, I'm going to be pleading the blood of Jesus. I'm going to be saying to demonic spirits, in the name of Jesus. Ooh. Pastor, really we can? Yes, you can. And the Amplified reads that same scripture this way. It says, for you have not received the spirit of slavery leading again to fear of God's judgment. So let me, let me, let me see if I can help myself and maybe get you to at least start considering this. That the spirit that was in them before when they communicated to God, it was all out of performing. And, and so these commandments, these 613 commandments, where God would say, now you gotta do this, and you gotta do this, and you gotta do this, and you gotta do this. And in those commandments, God would respond to when you did this, and when you did this, and when you did this. And, and, and so they, they, they the, the the law almost became like bondage because I was so busy performing, I never had an opportunity to have a relationship. Now, the law was not intended for you not to have a relationship, but because I didn't, I didn't feel like he loved me, I felt like I had to do this or he going to get me. He, he, he going to get me. So God said, now that crisis come, uh, for all that we have done wrong, Christ took care of that. Okay. I, I, I see our daughter Evelyn is back. So maybe only Evelyn and I can tell you when I think about everything that I've done, somebody in here ought to clap their hands and say, I paid for some of the stuff I did, but I ain't paid for everything that I did. Somebody ought to clap their hands and say, if you're live streaming, you ought to say, you know what? I really didn't pay for everything that I did. Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm going to clap my hand because I didn't pay for everything that I did. But, but wait a minute. If you didn't pay for it, who did? Ha, 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 oh, thank you, girl. If you didn't pay for it, who did? Somebody ought to celebrate the one that paid for it all. Somebody ought to celebrate the one that paid for it all. And most of us can't stand up. Most of us can't clap because we still think God said, now you're going to pay me back. No, 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 no. You ought to look at the cross and say, he paid it all. So now I'm free to be who God's created me to be.